Welcome, my name is Tennessee. Today I am bringing you a 10 minute vinyasa class or bin in 10. So um, if this is your first time to yoga or you're a beginner, this is perfect for you. We'll kind of move uh, through each posture breath to movement. Um, if you're an advanced yogi or have been doing yoga for a long time, then this is quite a pick me up. So 10 minutes of yoga just to get you going. Um, otherwise, take what you need, let go of the rest. Um, now, I always start my classes with a chakra clearing. If you don't know what chakras are, there's seven energy sources throughout your body. They start at the base of your spine and they work their way through the crown of your head. So I just want you to check in, notice what feels good, notice of any discomforts, getting out of your head, into your body, whether that be through the posture or your breath. So today we're gonna to start in an easy seated pose at the top of your mat. You can cross your ankles, lengthen through your spine, just sit up tall, just kind of settle in. Now you will not need props for this class today. However, if you feel like you need to use them, you are more than welcome. You can grab blocks, you can grab bolster, whatever you feel like you need, a strap, anything like that. Otherwise, if you wanna use blocks or if you feel like you need to help bring the earth up to you, you are more than welcome. And you don't have blocks, you are more than welcome to grab books or, or sturdy pillows, anything around the house to kind of help elevate you. Other than that, let's get started. Again, meeting in Sukhasana, easy seated pose. Just kind of settle in. Go ahead and close your eyes. Inhale, completely fill up your lungs. Audible exhale, let it go. Let's do that again. Inhale, completely fill up. Audible exhale, release. Just see if you can surrender a little bit further into your body, releasing any tension through your head, your neck, your jaw, your shoulders, your hips, your low back, your knees, your ankles, and your feet. Now this time, inhale through your nose. Just find a constriction in the back of your throat and then exhale through your nose. This is your Ujjayi Pranayama. Inhaling through your nose and then exhaling through your nose. Now see if you can make your inhale the same length as it is your exhale with the same intensity. I want you to carry this breath throughout your practice today through each posture, through each movement as we go through. Now just start to clear your mind and bring your focus, your energy, your awareness to the base of your spine to your root chakra, your first chakra. This is your I am space, your foundation, your safety, your security. This is where everything starts. Just check in, notice what feels good, notice of any discomfort, notice of any sensations. Now on your inhale, bring your focus, your energy, your awareness into your second chakra, the space below your belly button, your sacral, your I feel space, where you house your emotions, your desires, your sexuality, also known as your mother womb. Now gently guide the energy into your third chakra, the space above your belly button, your solar plexus, your I do space. This is what drives you, where your passion, your creativity, your power all lie. Now slowly work the energy into your fourth chakra, your heart, your I love space, your space of relationships, self-acceptance, and unconditional love. Now gently move the energy into your fifth chakra, your throat, your I speak space, your space of communication, your truth. Now slowly draw the energy up into your sixth chakra, the space just between your eyebrows, your I see space, your space of intuition, your third eye. And then finally, take your focus, your energy, your awareness all the way above your head to your seventh chakra, your crown chakra. Your I understand space, also your path to enlightenment. Now I want you to draw the energy all the way down to the base of your spine and then inhale it through the seven chakras through the crown of your head. Notice if anything gets stuck, of any discomforts, or if it feels good. Work to bring your focus, your energy, your awareness to those areas throughout your class today. One big clearing breath in. Audible exhale, let that go. Nice work, guys. Go ahead and flutter your eyes open. Inhale, reach your arms all the way above your head. Exhale, pull your arms back to a tiny cactus. Shine your heart forward. Take your gaze slightly up and back. Just breathe one more breath. Good, exhale, go ahead and place your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Place your right hand back behind. Find your seated twist. Now sit up tall, lengthen through the crown of your head as you take your gaze slightly back. Breathe here. Good, now slowly work your way back through your midline. Reach, extend to the top of your mat. Draw your torso down. Keep your sits bones grounded. Allow your head to just fall down or hang heavy. You should feel this tension release through the small of your back and the back of your legs or the back of your hips. 
Give me one more breath. Slowly walk your hands back to your midline. Now this time, raise your arms all the way up. Exhale, find the supine twist over to your left. Take your right hand to the outside of your left knee. Plant your right, or excuse me, your left hand back behind. Sit up tall. Take your gaze back. One more breath. Good. Now slowly again, come back to your midline. Crawl your way forward to the top of your mat. See if you can get a little bit deeper here. Reaching, extending, allowing your torso to fall down. Just breathe. Inhale, slowly bring everything back into your midline. Now work your way into a tabletop. So come onto your hands and your knees. You stack your hand or your shoulders to your wrists. Your hips are in line with your knees. Your belly button pulls into spine. Option to ground through the tops of your feet. Option to tuck your toes under. Inhale, cow pose. Gaze up, bellies down. Exhale, cat. Tuck in, round up. Don't up through your shoulder blades as you pull your hip bones up to your rib cage. Slightly tuck your chin in. Maybe add movement side to side, left to right. Inhale for cow pose. Can you take your gaze up a little bit further, broadening through your collarbone? Exhale, cat. Tuck in, round up. Let's do one more round here. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Now slowly work your way back to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes under, lift your tailbone high. Find your downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. This is your first down dog of your class. Your feet are about hip width distance. Take your gaze in between your feet, your torso to your thighs. Spread your fingers wide. So grip your mat like you're gripping a basketball. Ground through your first finger and your thumb. Take your gaze in between your feet. Good, you can bend your knees as much as you need to in a downward dog. The goal is to lengthen your spine. Now inhale, take your gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, walk your feet to meet your hands. Uttanasana, forward fold. Reach for opposite elbows. Find ragdoll pose, sway your body's left to right. Maybe nod your head yes or no. Maybe you scoop the energy into your midline. Just let this feel good. You can bend your knees as much as you need. Breathe here. Good, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Urdhva Histasana. Exhale, lower your hands down to your heart center. Inhale, take your gaze to your hands. Exhale, Tadasana. Nice work, guys. Inhale, Urdhva Histasana. Arms sweep all the way up. Exhale, Swan Dine Forward Fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back, belly button pulls into spine. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to your high plank. And lower all the way down to your bellies. Hug your elbows into your rib cage. Now, and tuck your toes. Ground through the tops of your feet. Inhale, Bhujangasana Cobra. Lift your chest up as you hug your elbows back. Exhale, slowly lower. Tuck your toes under, lift your tailbone high. Downward facing dog, Adho Bhushanasana. Breathe, let that go. Now take your gaze back to the top of your mat. Walk your feet to meet your hands, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, Uttanasana. So toes to touch, knees to touch, squeeze your inner thighs. Your tailbone goes back and down, bellies in, chest is lifted, arms are strong. Now check your knees, make sure they're behind all of your 10 toes. So if your knees are pulling forward, just shift your hips back and down. Draw your tailbone away from you. You got one more breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to your high plank. Lower down all the way to your belly. Inhale, Bhujangasana Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Inhale, right heel rises. Now, keep your hips square to the top of your mat. Shoulders are square, bellies draw in. Turn your pinky toe back down towards your mat. Inhale, see if you can reach a little bit higher. Exhale, step it through, warrior one. Step to the inside of your right hand. Step your left foot closer into a 45. Ground through the blade of your back foot. Your front knee stacks to your front ankle. Hips and shoulders are square to the top of your mat. Arms are strong. Exhale, plant it down. Send it back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Ujjangasana Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Bhushanasana. Inhale, left heel rises. Now keep your hips and shoulders square to the top of your mat. Pull your belly in. Turn your pinky toe back towards your mat. See if you can re reach a little bit higher. Exhale, step it through. Warrior one. Step to the inside of your left hand. Your back foot steps into a 45. Front knee stacks and shoulders are square. Arms are strong. Exhale, plant it down. 
sit it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog, Adho Kshanasana. Breathe, pedal at your feet, let that go. Good, now this time, take your gaze back to the top of your mat, walk your feet to meet your hands, Uttanasana, Forward Fold. Inhale, Halfway Lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. So toes to touch, knees to touch. Squeeze your inner thighs. Arms sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant it down and sit it back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right heel rises. Exhale, warrior two this time. Step to the inside of your right hand. Go ahead and pivot down on your back foot. Ground through the blade of your back foot. As you cartwheel your hands open, stack your front knee to your front ankle. Work for the heel to heel or heel to arch alignment. Gaze down your front middle finger. Now sink two inches further into your front thigh. Beautiful. Find that external rotation to the upper thigh. Inhale, reverse your warrior two. Reach your right arm up and back, left arm down. Exhale, extended side angle. Cartwheel your right hand to the inside of your ankle. Now work your shoulders back to stack. Option to keep your left arm straight up or reach above your ear. Create a straight line from your pinky toe all the way to your pinky finger. Now lift up with the external oblique. Option to place your forearm on top of your thigh to keep lifting up. Option for a block underneath your hand if it's inside your ankle. Breathe in. Exhale, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. So place your right hand to the top of your mat, shift your weight forward. Now keep your hips and shoulders open. Active through your lifted leg, so flex your toes back towards your shin. Option to bring your hand down to your mat. Option for your block if you've got it. Otherwise you can work for the hover. Find your balance, find your control, breathe. Exhale, plant it back. Inhale, reverse your warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, send it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, left heel rises. Keep your hips and shoulders square to the top of your mat. Exhale, warrior two, step to the inside of your left hand. Pivot down onto your back foot, cartwheel your hands open. Sink into your front thigh, work from the heel to heel, heel to arch alignment, gaze on your front middle finger. Inhale, reverse your warrior two. Exhale, extend the same angle. Cartwheel your left hand to the inside of your ankle. Option for a block here. Option to place your forearm on top of your thigh. Lift up with the external oblique. Option to extend your right arm straight up or over, extending your side body. Inhale. Exhale, half moon. Place your left hand to the top of your mat. Shift your weight forward. Activate your lifted leg. Flex your toes back towards your shin. Stack hips, stack shoulders. Belly pulls in. Breathe here. Exhale, step it back, reverse your warrior two. Sit your left arm up and back. Now plant your hands down, cartwheel your hands down to your mat, send it back, lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing go. Adho Bhushanasana, let it go, breathe. Now just take your gaze to the top of your mat, cross at your ankles, find a seated position, Dandasana. So legs straight out in front of you. And ground in through your sitting bones, belly up, pulls into spine, sit up tall, inhale, arms reach all the way up. Exhale, Pajimottanasana, forward fold. Hinging from your hips, lead your torso to the top of your thigh. Breathe. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to deepen. If you have a strap, you can wrap around the blades of your feet, you can walk down your midline. Otherwise, you can bend your knees as much as you need to and walk the edges of your legs, working to the edges of your feet or tops of your feet. If you need an extension, you can place a block past your feet or elevate your heels. Whatever feels good for you, whatever you need, breathe. Inhale, slowly lift back up. Exhale, Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together, your knees out wide. Interlace your fingers to the blades of your feet. Inhale, make the lift reach. Exhale, forward fold. Draw your elbows to the outsides of your shins. Round through your spine as you pull your forehead closer in. Breathe. Inhale, slowly lift back up. Exhale, come all the way onto your backs. Now just hug your knees into your chest. Find Apanasana when really being close. Give yourself a big hug. Option to reach for opposite elbows for a deeper compression. Now slowly find a supine twist over to your right. So bring your arms out to a T. Draw both knees over to the right side of your mat. Keep your knees stacked. And then take your 
engage left. Work to keep your shoulders grounding. Inhale, slowly bring everything back into your midline. Exhale, supine twist to your left. Take your gaze right. Inhale, slowly bring everything back into your midline. Exhale, straighten out your legs to the top of your mat. And then work your way into your final Shavasana. Allow your hands to fall out to the side, palms face up to receive. Close your eyes and just surrender completely into your mat. Shrug your shoulders up, squeeze every muscle fiber in your body. Audible oh, exhale, release. Surrender and leave everything on your mat. When you're ready, work your way into a fetal position, either on your right or your left side. Your right side is your masculine energy, your left is your feminine. And then slowly work your way up to an easy seated pose back to where we started, just crossing at your ankles, lengthening through your spine, sitting up tall. Inhale, reach your arms all the way above your head. Take all that good energy, bring it down into your heart center, your heart space, your fourth chakra. Inhale, your confidence, your self-love, your self-acceptance. And then exhale, all your fears and doubts. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.